University of Denver. Um, coach. Alana? Coach, I can imagine um, that your players through the years, many of them are like your own children. So if you can, if you can kind of take us through your emotions of what you've been going through as, as one of your own who's been battling through it. Good boys, bad boys. Um, it has been, for us back here in Denver, it's been uh, a long two weeks. Um, we obviously were extremely relieved to know that we heard about Jesse's condition and, and obviously very thankful. Um, Terry has mentioned the outpouring of, of support that Jesse has received across the continent, United States and Canada. Um, he's received that kind of support. That information and those emails and telephone calls have come our way as well. Um, it's been extremely uplifting, I'm sure for Jesse, but I know for his teammates. Um, it has been a challenge for them. Um, as proud as I am of Jesse, I know that uh, He's proud of his teammates because of some of the, uh, they're very close and um, like brothers and um, care for your brother. Sometimes you fight like crazy with your brother, but um, um, that love and that um, concern and the, uh, the unknown of what was happening with him uh, throughout this whole process has been at times overwhelming for many of us and uh, I, I think I could speak for his teammates as well as our coaching staff and the people at DU that were so relieved and thankful to know that he's doing great walking and uh, the sense of humor and when I went to visit Jesse uh, a couple weeks ago in the hospital you know when you first see Jesse in his in his suit of armor it, it kind of takes you back because that's not it's a little bit unnerving but uh, you know within five seconds he'll say something to kind of break the break the uh, the nerves. Uh, he's got his wit. I know that uh, he was telling me about uh, uh, after his surgery in, at the Regents Hospital in St. Paul, he walked down to the first one for one of his first rehab assignments, and they were practicing. He and a, a PT was practicing just catching the ball, tossing the ball, and Jesse caught it, and threw it back, and the PT dropped it. And Jesse said, "Hey, look, I got a broken neck, and I can I can catch the ball better than you." I mean, that's been Jesse throughout this whole process. From the night <coughs> he was in ER and we, we visited him before he was airlifted to Minneapolis until now. And, uh, you, know, you talk about tremendous spirit to, to not so much get him through it, but get everybody else through it, including Brad Malone. Um, it's hard to quantify that. It really is. Any further questions for Coach Buzzcott? Okay. I don't usually do this, um, but I don't know if I got it across um, quite clearly enough that throughout this whole process, um, you know, as, as hard as I was fighting, um, the support that I got from my teammates, you know, the, the amount of work that Aaron Lou put in for me. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for a, a, a better guy to, to have on your team. Um, you know, my dad and my mom and my sister and grandma at home and, and everyone, my, my uncle and, and <coughs> cousins that came out and visited me, it was unbelievable support and, uh, you know, I couldn't have been, um, you know, as happy and as, uh, you know, as, as motivated to do things I did uh, without that support. I mean, uh, my teammates, parents, Steve and Gail uh, Bram came twice to visit me and they, um, 
you know, throughout the whole process were there by my side and, and, and just so uplifting to have them come, come visit. Um, am I forgetting? Don't forget your girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my girlfriend, Tracy, and her parents came out um, and they stayed with me for eight days. And, uh, you know, you, you know you're really a part of a, a strong uh, support system that means the absolute world to you. Because without that, um, you know, there's no chance. There's absolutely zero chance I'd be right today. So I just wanted to make sure I got that across. And, uh, and I couldn't have, uh, you know, somehow I found my way into Regents Hospital. And I found my way into <coughs> Dr. Morgan and Dr. Mendez in his care. And now I find myself here. I mean, not only, you know, uh, ending up in the shape I am, um, but the steps that follow that, it's it's fallen the line like um, you know like it was meant to be somehow, and it's been overwhelming. And uh, just wanted to make sure those people got the recognition they deserve because they were as much part of this as, as I was. So just wanted to make sure that was there. Okay. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, yep. Terry. Thanks, Transcription and full video of this today's press concert, conference, excuse me, will be available on our website at denverpioneers.com. Thanks everyone for coming.